everybody, welcome back to Let's Play Dark Souls 2. You might be noticing that I'm at a different bonfire. This is because I wanted to talk to this lady and use some of our souls to level up. If I'm being 100% honest, we are fighting a boss soon, so it's reasonably likely that uh, I may... Did I find Estus Flash Shards? No, I did not. Um, it's reasonably likely that I'll die, so I might as well invest these souls in something. And I'm going to be leveling up throughout the game anyway, so why not, right? Um, as of right now, I'll level up uh, my Endurance... Ah, let's just level up Endurance twice to give us a little bit of extra stamina. As we did start as a warrior, we uh, already have some of our stat points uh, allocated from the start. But anyway, we're going to fast travel. And we're going to go back to the second bonfire at the, uh, the Forest of the Fallen Giants in the Cardinal Tower. And we will be due for a boss fight, and it's a boss fight that is not necessarily super easy. I died uh, multiple times when I was actually uh, doing it in my off-camera run. That was a couple days ago now, though. Uh, so hopefully I've gotten maybe a little bit stronger. We'll see, though. A little bit stronger in terms of my play, not in terms of my items. Exactly the same items. Although I might have been using the hand axe to take out the enemy. I don't want to spoil the surprise of who it is just yet. Uh, what's interesting, though, is I am human. Because I haven't died yet. I still have that uh, humanity from the very beginning. That's supposed to be uh, where our shortcut is, by the way, I think. But, um, yeah, I'm still uh, I'm still human, so I believe there's an AI summon that we can actually use for this boss fight. And uh, we're just going to head straight down. I believe there's an enemy that maybe we fight along the way. But apart from that, uh, we pretty much just go and get on this elevator. Oh, we should get this item first. See what it is, at least. Uh, fire arrows. Probably won't end up using those anytime soon, but maybe in the future. And, you know, I have to say, I apologize for the fact that I just run through so, enemy, so many enemies without killing them, but it's a pattern that's worked really well for me, and, uh, you know, I think it's a strategy that's actually totally viable in Dark Souls, and as much as it might be fun to watch me uh, try to murder enemies over and over and over, I think it's, uh, if, if, you know, if it ain't broke, don't fix it, basically. Hopefully I'll get the backstab animation here, and I do. Alright, let's get our Estus equipped, and there should be a summon sign... Josh told me there was a summon sign. Where's the summon sign? I saw the sign. It opened up my eyes. I saw the sign. Life is demanding without understanding. Maybe there isn't a summon sign for this boss. I think that I may have been lied to unless I'm missing it in one of these uh, little holes in the wall. Am I serious? Maybe I've gone blind. Or maybe it only shows up after, like, the second time that you fight him. Whatever. We'll try to take this boss out solo. There will be, I believe, a cutscene as soon as we get in here. what I feel like on Monday morning, am I right? <laughs> okay, I'm sorry. Alright, so we got this uh, last giant, I think. Forgotten giant. The last giant. Uh, he's not a pushover. We have to be kind of careful here, and we're doing the optimum amount of damage here, as you can see. But the most important thing is just take the fight very, very slowly. The same patterns that work in Dark Souls 1 work in Dark Souls 2. If we get hit, we'll probably die in one or two hits. He does have other attacks besides just uh, putting his foot down. But as for right now, I'm getting lucky and not having to deal with those, I guess. Um, just hang out for a second. I, I want to bait him into using the foot attack because that gives me a very easy opportunity to do some damage. But anyway, you can just kind of fight him uh, a little bit similar to the way that you might fight like uh, the Asylum Demon in Dark Souls. And he shouldn't be too bad except when he does that. Now this is where things become horrifying uh, when you're playing Dark Souls. Uh, if you're fighting a boss, they oftentimes are not so bad, but as soon as they hit you once, that never stops. Uh, you never get a chance to heal, and you really have to get that taken care of as soon as possible, uh, or you're never going to survive again. Um, so as of right now, it's going very well, actually. Very slow boss fight, you know? I'm never going to break any speedrun uh, records here. There, Every boss, uh, this is a little different in Dark Souls 2 versus Dark Souls 1, but it, it feels like, to me, almost every boss in Dark Souls 2 has like a second phase that they go to uh, when they lose about half their health, and the giant here is no exception, so we should be seeing that pretty soon. Just watch. Oh, that's such an annoying attack. I really need to get 100% uh, damage block shield 
Um, but that's not going to happen for at least a little while here. That took all of my stamina. Uh, I'm glad I leveled that up. I think that was a pretty smart idea. Might want to pop a life gem here, but I kind of want to get him to do an attack first. So I can just back it up. And I did get hit again, but the life gem will cause me to get a little bit more health, so that's fine. I seriously got hit by that? I... I'm not pleased about that, let's put it that way. But again, the life gem is uh, still doing its magic. So, yeah, he gets mad now. And, you know, they say, don't get mad, get glad. He actually gets mad and rips his arm off, which I think is kind of a rash course of action. I mean, you'd think that wouldn't actually end up helping him too much over the course of the arrangement here, but it actually does. <laughs> it, it does a great deal, unfortunately. So I kind of just wanted to get him away from the wall. You know, it's never good to be trapped uh, behind an enemy between a rock and a hard place, if you know what I mean. So, uh, I think I'm just gonna try to... I maybe shouldn't have rolled there. That could have gotten me killed. But, also, I had a, a huge chance to do some damage to him there. Actually, I'm gonna pop a life gem quickly, just to make sure that we don't die. That was a really scary situation. Alright, that we're, we're back alive here. And relatively well. I think we're gonna win this fight. Life gems are not... Um, you know, necessarily a precious resource. Pretty easy to come by. Uh, I don't mind popping them to be very much in the better safe than sorry camp. If he falls on me, by the way, we'll, we'll probably be one shot killed. And that would be a really nasty way to go. After having what I would consider to be a pretty successful fight, even though, you know, I... He one shot killed me. I'm so fucking pissed. <laughs> I was doing so well until I kind of... You know, that's, that's Dark Souls 2, in a nutshell. I got myself a, a little bit unfocused and got killed by the boss, but that's okay. Um, I, I don't necessarily want to pop a human effigy. That's uh, the humanity version of the either this version's, this game's version of the humanity. Because there doesn't appear to be a summon, um, but uh, I might be mistaken there. The AI summons in the game so far have not been very good, by the way. Um, which is good, because it forces you to learn the patterns a little bit. But also, if you need help, well, then screw you, basically. But, uh, let's just take a look for a second. How many human effigies do I have? Four. Not a whole hell of a lot. Let's go, uh, try them again, shall we? Uh, do I actually have any kind of resin? Not really. Um, I have witching urns, which deal magical damage. You know, I'm probably, I'm just gonna put those on my, uh, equipment slot. I'm probably gonna, never gonna use those, uh over the course of the game, apart from maybe this boss, so why not take the opportunity to do it right now? Um, and again, I, I, there's no reason to use a human effigy here. I'd rather save it for a boss that I'm probably going to die on more often. And, uh, yeah, it sucks losing those life gems, but again, we can always pop souls to buy more from the shopkeeper if it ends up being a real priority, but I should be able to beat the boss. Uh, wow, you're not supposed to be out here. <laughs> I should be able to beat the boss uh, just using Estus and, and life gems, but... Oh, you can get stabbed through the fog wall sometimes, so it's very... Something you gotta be careful about. Alright. He took off a little health and a lot of stamina there. So we're not gonna be able to really take advantage of that as much as I wanted. But again, I can't stress enough that all of the boss fights in, in Dark Souls, it's all about patience. And I think it's fair to say that I actually lost my patience uh, towards the end of that fight, and that's... Uh, the major predictor, I would say, or the major reason why I ended up uh, dying there. So, let's, let's treat that as a learning experience and move along. As much as I would love this to be a zero-death run of Dark Souls, that's extremely unlikely to happen. Giant's not a pushover, um, even though he falls over sometimes. Uh, he's pretty easy, but, uh, you know, he's... Ev everything in Dark Souls can kill you uh, if you're not paying attention or you have a lapse in judgment. And of course the real problem with the, the giant is um, not necessarily these foot stomps, but it's the fact that if he falls on you, he kills you in one hit, or if he hits you with his arm, he can kill you in one hit. And uh, also that attack that can hit you twice is really freaking annoying. Alright, we're going to take this opportunity to Estus. That was really scary. I'm going to throw a witching urn at him. Did nothing. Let's try it again. That did a, a lot of damage, actually. He may take this opportunity to rip off his arm at some point. I don't have the greatest arm in the business. Oh, he did it. I don't have the greatest arm in the business, so I don't necessarily want to be too risky. Awful textures on that uh, witching urn, but whatever. We'll use this to take out a little bit of his health. Uh, and now we'll go back to life gems. And this may... 
should, I should say, uh, give us a better chance of success. Now, I'm just trying to get behind him. This is where I want to be. The more I can force him to attack with his feet, the better I off I am. Because that'll uh, neutralize that like one-hit KO ability that he has. I've got to really monitor my stamina because I really want to make sure that I'm able to actually block. Um, he's doing some pretty nice footsteps here, much to my chagrin. I don't know if they get a little bit faster as he um, gets more damage, but again, enemies in Dark Souls or bosses in Dark Souls do tend to get a little bit um, stronger as time goes on. That was really stupid and I got lucky to not take damage. I did like a breaking guard attack instead of just going for it. All right, I, I went silent for a second there because I, I two-handed my weapon. I basically went all in, um, but it worked. We got the soldier key and the soul of the last giant, retrieved our blood stain. Uh, we can use that uh, soul to make some boss weapons, like some weapons that are truly boss. Uh, I really wish that there was a bonfire immediately after this guy, but instead we'll end up using our soldier key and we'll open up some stuff. We should be able to find uh, some some new things that will help us a lot on our journey. So thank you for having patience with me for that fight. If you're annoyed that I died once, it's locked. I thought I could use the soldier key. Maybe I have to open it from the other side. Um, yeah, if you're worried that I died once against a boss, well, all I can really tell you is uh, get ready for the pain train because there are a lot of bosses in this game that I will probably die multiple times to. But at the very least, we took out the first boss. That feels good. It's nice to get some momentum. And uh, we'll start opening some doors in this area. We could, you know, objectively start progressing. But uh, now that we have... Okay, I guess I'll murder this man because I have to. Um, please don't kill me. I really would like to keep these souls. Oh, I really thought that would be the crit animation, but it wasn't. That's fine. Uh, no item dropped. Okay, so we'll start opening doors because there are things that we could find here. If you want to watch someone like min-max the game and find every single item, you should absolutely go watch Nick play the game because I am uh, not that kind of player. But I am going to do my best to uh, find some stuff here. I think there is an Estus Flask shard. So let's let's come up here. And you always got to be cautious. Enemies can still be around every corner even though it feels like it should be safe now. Uh, and this soldier key will open up a lot of, a lot of good stuff for us. Enemies may just appear out of the woodwork here. Nothing there. Um, oh, there's the, there's our item. We don't even need to break anything. Hand axe and radiant life gem. So the hand axe is basically the, the pyromancer's axe from uh, Dark Souls 1. And I used that uh, myself when I was playing through the game. But I don't necessarily think that it's the best item. I kind of think the short sword is better. Where did you come from? Oh, he was lying on the ground. There's a chest I missed as well. Thank God I actually came back into this room. He just destroyed the chest, you dick! <laughs> I'm not, I, well, at least the item's still here, isn't it? Rubbish! Oh my god, please tell me that wasn't the Estus Flask shard. I... <laughs> I am actually a little bit mad. So when you destroy a, ch a chest, it becomes rubbish. Um, maybe the Estus Flask shard they would put in like an iron chest so that wouldn't happen, but let's see. Okay, thank God. We also got the small white sign soapstone. That's not going to be too useful for us considering that, um, you know, the servers are still offline. So that'll allow us to get up to two Estus. If you didn't come up here in your own Dark Souls 2 play, assuming you're able to play it for yourself right now, I would uh, advise you to. There's a divine blessing for us as well. Uh, we have to go back to the Emerald Rogue. I forget the name of the character in order to do that. But there are some other doors I believe we can open now. Otherwise, we're basically done with uh, Force of the Fallen Giants and can move on to the next area. But first, um, let's play it smart. Take out these guys and uh, see if we can open some more doors because you never know what kind of items might await us. There is also, in addition to just getting more Estus... Oh my god. That hurt. Um, in addition to just getting more Estus, there is of course the ability to uh, reinforce Estus. But mostly, I'm looking for rings. There should be capability to find some rings around here because right now I only have the covenant ring and that's pretty terrible <laughs> since we're not even in online mode and the servers don't even work yet so we'll use our soldier key and open up this door and I don't know if there's anything beautiful over here um I don't think we want to go that way for now I think that might be another boss fight that I don't want to get involved with just yet but there is the opportunity for me to come over here and uh, should have attacked that chest. You never know when a mimic's going to appear. 
Ring of Restoration and a Torch. This is what I was looking for. So the Ring of Restoration, I got that in my off-camera play. Gradually restores HP. So you might think of it as like, um, I think it's kind of similar to like the red tear stone ring. Although that might increase your attacks when you're, um, when you're on low HP. Oh, you know, we're, we're actually okay being here. This will say, produce the symbol of the king. So we can't uh, progress from here right now. Now, there might be other doors that I was unable to open. But I'm not crazy concerned about that right now. Uh, I think what we will do is uh, come up here and uh, teleport back to Majula. And uh, we'll talk to some people in the town. We, uh, I guess we can go visit the mansion as well. And then in the next episode, we'll move on to the next area. So we'll go to Majula. Something wrong with his Majula Oblongata. I think that this merchant might actually follow us there. But this is, I, I consider that a pretty successful episode. We, we've got more to do in the Forest of the Fallen Giants, but not right now. I still can't believe that the soldier key didn't open that door at the bottom. I really thought that it did, but I guess we are missing something else. If only we had the master key. Maybe that's why there's no master key gift in this game. All right. Is that a shard you found? Indeed it is. Um... I'm sorry again for skipping through her voice work, but I'll give her an Estes Flask shard. I don't know why that sounded vaguely sexual. I didn't mean it like that at all. Uh, and now that she's uh, upgraded our Estes Flask, we're going to level up a little bit more. Um, yeah, yeah, we are. We'll eventually level up Strength and Dexterity, I promise you. But for now, I think... Uh, strength or Dexterity, I guess. Probably Strength, because we want to make sure that we have uh, the capabilities to wield a 100 defense shield. In fact, actually, you know what? We're going to crank in a lot of points into strength right now. We'll take it up to 20 so that we're a little bit closer for later. This will give us a little HP. We're actually going to go to 22. And then we'll put one more level in endurance as well. So we're all the way up to level 23 already. This is obviously not going to be a soul level 1 run. I don't want to spoil it for you, but we can actually respec uh, our skills later. Or our attribute points later if we want to. So putting them in the wrong spot once is not a really big deal. So, remember, I did get the blacksmith key. This guy's like, hey, I'm a blacksmith, but I can't get into my freaking house, even though there's holes all over it. Well, we'll use the key, and then he'll be stoked. That was, like, stoked plus psyched. I don't know. All right, so he's going to get to work, and we'll be able to buy things from him and use him to upgrade our weapons as well. Uh, might as well take a quick second to go explore the entirety of the town here before we go to the mansion. There's another dude. He, st he sells stuff by the seashore. Including uh, a 100 defense shield. Oh, the, never mind. The great shield is 95. I know I'm harping on this, but a 100 defense shield is actually super important. Got some new armor in here that we could buy if we wanted to. The falconer uh, helm is really cool to look at. We might want to buy maybe the falconer set at some point, but uh, I'm okay with my default equipment for now. So he doesn't really sell too much that we can make good use of. Um, there is a... This is an area that we'll eventually go to, but I don't want to talk about that right now because of the memories that it's going to bring up for me. But we can uh, open up this mansion using the house key that was given to us by the cartographer. And there are items in here, and I kind of forget what they are, but I'll remember them if they're significant as I find them, I think. Um, these are not chests, by the way. These are like lock boxes that I can't access. So we get Pharos Lockstone. Um, this is a, a ubiquitous element of Dark Souls 2 that I don't really know how I feel about yet, but um, Pharos Lockstone is an item that's. Um, is used to, you insert it into an artifact or a relic in a wall, and uh, by doing so, you usually illuminate like a hidden path, or you activate some kind of mechanism like a drawbridge or something like that. Now there are chests up here, but I don't think there's enemies. Uh, there's an enemy down in the basement, but let's just see what we've got in our treasure chest for now. Might as well loot the environment a little bit. Titanite shard and a torch, that's good. Anything out here? Probably, if I know my Dark Souls properly. Um, I would imagine that there's maybe like an enemy down on the ground or not an enemy But a, an item down on the ground over there. We can always just walk around and pick that up later. I guess um, Is this the yeah, that's the end Okay, uh, but you know we could upgrade our weapon already I just don't know if uh, the short sword is really where I want to put all my ducats if you know what I mean So there is a little bit more to explore in this mansion We're gonna go down into the basement which is down here and there will be a nasty skeleton monster Nasty skeleton monster. Where are you? Further down the stairs, I guess. Uh, much like going to the catacombs early in Dark Souls 1, I wouldn't suggest fighting this guy. But I'm going to do it because I'm dumb. We've leveled up a little bit. I actually fought him at default level when I played earlier. He's actually not so bad. The only problem is that if you get hit, he inflicts bleed. So, obviously, that's something that you <laughs> want to watch out for 
as I immediately don't watch out for it. I'm out of stamina here, that's why I backed up, even though he was nearly dead. Hey, there we go. And we've got two Estus now. So, having killed Skeleton Man, he will not come back to life. He drops a uh, humanity. Those will become important later in the game. An Estus Flask Shard. Oh, that's going to take us to three already. Uh, I actually did not know that that was the, the be-all, end-all item down here. Uh, but that's really good. Three Estus is going to be very useful for us. I only had two when I did this off, uh, off camera, so this is exciting. And a soul vessel. Uh, I believe, don't quote me on this unnecessarily, but um, I believe that is the item that you can actually use to respec your stat points. So, I don't know what's going on in here. I'm assuming eventually we'll have something to do with this fire. Maybe this is a bonfire that we can kindle or something like that. Um, maybe that's an, an area that will open up to another area later in the game. I actually don't know. If, that's, if that ends up being the case, I'm not trying to deliberately spoil it for you. I just didn't know. So, we'll go back and we'll uh, heal up a little bit. Well, not really heal up, but, uh, you know, get our Estus back. And, uh, if we kind of, like, save and reload, or even just go to the bonfire, uh, we might be able to talk to this blacksmith and maybe reinforce something. But again, I don't know if I'd really want to reinforce the, um... Is he back in his... He went into his shop now, I think. Is that a sh um, How it yeah, I don't know if I want to reinforce the, uh, the short sword plus zero that we're using right now. Maybe we can use our Titanite shards for something better, is basically what I'm getting at. Uh, good. So we're at, uh, three Estus now, which is very exciting. You've come in here, and, uh, let's see. Uh, again, I apologize for skipping through the dialogue, but they talk a lot, and they got a lot to say. So we could buy a long sword. This, uh, scales with our strength. We could buy a falchion. This scales more with dexterity. Same with the, uh, the estoc and the rapier. Battle axe might be a good pickup. Mace and spear. Um... You know what? Let's let's maybe try out the battle axe. Does, what else does he sell? Arrows and titanite chunks. Um, titanite shards, sorry. Titanite chunks is another item we'll get later. So, I'm going to buy the axe. Uh, we have the strength necessary to use it. It scales okay with strength, so I think it's a pretty good pickup. Short sword's been good to us, but let's go quickly to our equipment. And uh, we'll equip this. Take a quick look at how it looks when we swing it. I, I kind of like it. And you know what I will do as well is go to uh, inventory here. And we're going to just quick pop. What is this? Rubbish. Has no value. I'm so mad about that. I don't remember what was even in that chest. But dude is still kind of a dick. I think we can all agree about that. So this will take us to like 1,500, 1,700 souls. Um, that'll allow us to reinforce our uh, axe a couple of times. So let's talk to him. And we'll, we can repair something? No, nothing to repair. Uh, we'll reinforce the crap out of our axe. We can reinforce our shield too if we want to. But let's do this. So uh, it costs 520 souls. We do have just enough Titanite to do it twice. Alright, that's great! So, we got some new stuff here. Uh, that's exciting. Still wearing our, our starting armor, but hopefully we can change that in the future. Let's check out our uh, move set here. I like, uh, I like weapons that have like a broad stroke like that so I can hit multiple enemies, as opposed to like a rapier where you attack directly ahead. But anyway, uh, thanks for watching. I hope you've enjoyed this episode of Dark Souls. Again, this series is like a fledgling baby bird. If you could show your support quantifiably, if you actually enjoyed the episode by clicking the like button, that would help out a great deal. And of course, subscribe if you want to see more in the future. As always, thanks for watching. On the next episode, we'll be, you know, cutting a path towards our next boss, getting some more Lord Souls, and I uh, hope you enjoyed the episode. I'll see you next time.